Hey guys, today I'll be reading The Very Stuffed Turkey by Katherine Kenna. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to Reagan's Reading Corner. Today I'll be reading The Very Stuffed Turkey by Katherine Kenna and Biddy Talib. Happy Thanksgiving, I can't wait for it. It was Thanksgiving morning and Turkey had a problem. Pig, horse, goat and sheep, cow and mouse, and each invited him to Thanksgiving dinner at their homes. Turkey loved his barnyard friends and didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. He was going to everyone's house. Turkey wasn't sure he had room in his stomach for five dinners. But then, he thought of all the good food bubbling and baking in those kitchens. Just thinking about it made him hungry. Five houses, five dinners, no problem. It was time to get ready. Turkey hopped up and down and touched his beak to the ground 25 times to stretch his stomach. He brushed his feathers. The turkey made a map of the way to his friend's houses. He was ready to go. Turkey walked to Pig's house first. Pig was outside hanging up holiday lights. The piglets were playing pumpkin ball nearby. Hi, Turkey, said Pig. Hope you're hungry. One of the piglets made an amazing pumpkin pass that almost hit Turkey's head. Touchdown, called Turkey as he caught the ball and kicked it back to the piglets. Half time, yelled Pig. He climbed down the ladder and waved everyone in the house for dinner. Pig made a fine Thanksgiving stew with beets and corn and a worm or two. While Pig's family snuffled and snorted, Turkey slurped and burped. He gobbled up everything on his plate. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Horses house was next. Turkey wished he hadn't eaten like a pig when he saw the dining room table. It was covered with plates of oat cakes and hay, carrots, sugar cubes, and pumpkin and apple pies. While Horace's family munched and crunched, Turkey mashed and mixed. He gobbled up everything on his plate. I have an idea, Horace said after dinner. Let's have a race. Turkey didn't think that was a good idea. He was too full to trot, and his tummy was feeling funny. While Horace's family raced ahead, Turkey hopped and fluttered behind them, but he didn't get too far, so Horace gave Turkey a ride under fall leaves as colorful as candy. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Goat and sheep lived next door to Horace. Turkey sniffed all the air all the way to their house. What is that yummy smell? Turkey asked as he waddled through their front door. Come see, they said. Goat made a special Thanksgiving soup with flowers, weeds, and glue. Sheep baked a clover casserole dotted with dandelions. While goat and sheep tasted and sipped, Turkey gobbled up everything on his plate. That soup was sticky, said sheep. Dandelions taste fuzzy, said goat. Turkey said, dinner was delightful, but he thought he might explode. They played hide and seek indoors after dinner. Goat and sheep kept peeking, but Turkey won every time. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Turkey was too late for dinner when he got to Cal's house. They were getting ready for dessert. Cal's family was crowded around the kitchen counter. They were all holding spoons and ice cream cones. There were cartons of ice cream everywhere and so many flavors. It looked like a rainbow. Ready? asked Cal. She handed Turkey a cone and spoon. For what? Turkey said. Our family's Thanksgiving ice cream cone contest, said Cal. The tallest cone wins. Ready? Set, go! Ice cream flew through the air. Everyone was shouting, pushing, and laughing. The kitchen was a mess. Turkey felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Turkey had one house left to go. Mouses. When he got there, the table was crowded with mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, cousins, uncles, and aunts. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey, they shouted. Dinner was a feast of birdseed, soup, and berries. While Mouse's family went nibble, nibble, taste, taste, Turkey gobbled up everything on his plate. Now comes the best part, said Mouse. What? asked Turkey. He hoped it wasn't ice cream. Our family's Thanksgiving parade, said Mouse. They put on their coats and boots, blew up balloons, and handed a drum to Turkey. Turkey was so full, he thought they could use him as a balloon. A giant floating turkey. When everyone was ready, the Mouse Family Parade marched out the door with Turkey as the front of their long, noisy line. 
Cookie felt like part of the family. It was a wonderful feeling. Neighbors poured out of their homes to join the parade. Turkey saw pig, he saw horse, he saw goat and sheep, he even saw cow. He saw every one of his barnyard friends. Turkey was so happy, so surprised, and so stuffed, he fell over. When Turkey opened his eyes, his barnyard friends were in a circle around him, looking at him with worried faces. How do you feel? asked horse. I ate too much, asked Turkey. But it was worth it. I got to spend Thanksgiving with all of you. And that's what families do. Sorry, Turkey, said Cal. We didn't know we each invited you to dinner. That's okay, said Turkey. But next year, we're having Thanksgiving dinner at my house. Everyone laughed and cheered. It was a wonderful feeling. The parade started again. While Turkey banged his drum, he planned what to make his barnyard family for dinner next year. Grilled grasshoppers were always good. Just thinking about it made him hungry. I hope you guys enjoyed the very stuffed turkey, and I hope to see you guys next time on Reagan's Reading Corner. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe down below.